Hello there, my friends. <laughs> Obi-Wan's coming out next week, so I thought that might be appropriate. Anyway, I got a uh, comment here on one of my YouTube videos, and it's somebody who just bought... Here, I'll read it. It says, hi, is your Sabre in RGB or NeoPixel? Okay, so this is an RGB Sabre that I bought off of AliExpress back in February of 2020. Yeah, I know. It didn't arrive until months later. Uh, so from a no-name Chinese company, I can't even remember the name of it. I just took a chance because it was like, I don't know, 70 bucks. And it's got three sound fonts. And this was before I knew much about Sabres. But anyway, it's an RGB. This is from Crimson Dawn. This is a uh, NeoPixel. And you can see I already loosened the blade. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is a their tier three NeoPixel um, Profi as the sound card. So I got one of each. And then the uh, it says, uh, I bought my first RGB. It has three holes and three screws, but the slot for the saber isn't very deep. And I'm worried the blade won't be secure enough with all three screws when I start swinging it. Okay, so I uh, this was... This is the one that I still like twirl inside the house because it's only like a 30, um, 30 inch blade. So it, I, don't, I don't end up hitting things, but uh, I, I dropped this a bunch of times. I have um, run into things, I've uh, smacked things, you know, smacked the wall, chairs, things like that. And this blade is the original blade two years later plus, and it's still in good shape. Now, um, it only has two screws that retaining screws, okay? But it holds them pretty firmly. Now I, I loosened this up to demonstrate my next point. This one has two screws as well, but they're not on opposite ends of the blade. So there is a little wobble actually in my art, in my um, NeoPixel Saber. All right, so the second question he has is he said, would I be better off using only using one screw and pushing the opposite end of the blade against the hilt? Well, that's pretty much what this does, okay? So like this, this is two screws here on one side of the blade, and then you put them in, and, it, and when you tighten it up, it still wobbles a little bit. So even though this saber is um, three to four times more expensive than this one, this one with the uh, screws on the opposite end is more secure. So if yours has three and they're in a triangle, like a triangular pattern, I'm going to say that that's going to hold that in place super secure. So you're not really going to have to worry. Now, do you want a little bit of play in your blade? You might. Um, here, let's keep going on with the questions that it says. Or would I be completely crazy to use long screws and drill small holes into the bottom of my blade so they act more like a peg. Thanks. All right, so I would not recommend, um, even though like this saber, these are pretty cheap blades, but with supply chain problems and everything, I don't even know if you're gonna get, be able to, how many you're gonna be able to get. You could probably go to a hardware store and get, you know, this polycarbonate tube and then finagle something to put in it to distribute the light that's what this does. This diffracts the light. But all this is is basically a polycarbonate tube. It's uh, three quarters of an inch um, in diameter. This one is a full inch in diameter, and it's got it's a NeoPixel blade. You can see there's like electronics inside the blade. This is where the contacts are to operate those electronics, so that you can have effects like scrolling effects when you you know save when the saber goes on and off. This one does everything. This one does, you can program lighting effects with uh, Profi, it's crazy. You can drag the tip, which is really cool. Um, you know, that that's why this Sabre costs so much more because, and this blade is not cheap. So if you want a replacement blade to duel with, you know, I'm not, I, I wouldn't recommend drilling a hole in either one of these, but if you're gonna do it, with a regular RGB blade, you're, you're not gonna have that much of an expense if you have problem. But what I wanted to show you was that I, this is wear and tear from me just tightening the screws. So eventually what's gonna happen is the blade is gonna find its own seat, right? So once you start using it, you're gonna probably, if you keep putting the blade in the same way, the retention screws are gonna make their own indentation 
and then it's gonna naturally find, it's like, it's like getting a pair of socks, right? So you're like, you're, they're gonna naturally find the heel and the toe. If you, ever, you remember those old timey socks that didn't have heels and toes? Anyway, um, yeah, when you stick this in here, it's gonna kind of find its natural spot. And then if you were going to, uh, if there's a lot of wear and tear and you end up cracking the end of the blade, like say for some reason, the screw hole does come through because you just really give it a good whack, you know, and it just cracks. You can turn the blade and you can use another part of the blade to uh, to screw that into if you can hide it. Yeah, see that goes in far enough that you could hide it. So I'm going to say no on the drilling of the holes and I'm going to say like, believe me, it's you're going to be fine. This thing has been in duels. This thing has been twirled. This thing has been dropped. This one has been dropped as well. I haven't dueled with it but it's supposed to be a medium grade blade. I'm supposed to be able to, but I just, um, I haven't. And, uh, and like I said, this one, because of the top, the screws being on one side and top bottom, they do get loose um, when you, after a little bit of use. So I hope that answers all your questions. I'm sorry, it was just too much to put into like a uh, comment section on a YouTube channel. So I thought I'd make a video and I know I probably ran long. But I um, hope you guys have a great day. May the Force be with you. And enjoy May. This is a wonderful month for Star Wars fans. And uh, let's hope that Obi-Wan is a great series. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. See you on the next one.